While the Lady of Pain is considered the ultimate ruler of the planar metropolis called Sigil, the City of Doors, the factions perform virtually all the administrative and practical functions of the city. They are the ones that people look for, for authority. The Lady gives only edicts or appears personally under very rare circumstances. Each of the factions is based around one particular belief system. Many of their belief systems make enemies where their other goals and actions might have made them allies. All factions hold many secrets from non-members and even their own members. For the few who know a secret, the more secret it is, and those that have more secrets wield more power. There are 15 factions in total. Per the decree of the Lady of Pain, any additional factions emerging would be subject to her wrath, unless of course they could destroy one of the current 15. At one point there were many factions, but after a war referred to as the Great Upheaval among the factions, the Lady decreed that they had two weeks to get the number down to 15, or she would kill them all. The Free League membership swelled to over a million, compared to the 20,000 or so members present today. The Athar, also known as the Defiers or the Lost, these are those who deny not only the gods' right to pass judgement over mortals, but their very divinity. They claim that the gods, whom they call powers, are powerful, but have limits and do not deserve worship. Instead, Athar priests channel the divine power of what they call the Great Unknown, or what they believe to be the true divine force behind everything. Their headquarters in Sigil is the Shattered Temple, the former temple of the dead god Oaskar. The Athar are broadly derived from real-world atheists, agnostics, and deists. The Believers of the Source, also known as the Godsmen, are those who believe that each life is a test, and that every person has the potential to become a god. Their headquarters is in the Great Foundry, symbolizing their belief that the multiverse constantly forges and refines all beings. It shares many parallels with Hinduism and Buddhism. However, the ultimate goal is not Nirvana, but Apotheosis. The Bleak Cabal, also known as the Bleakers or the Madmen, they are those who deny that any belief system has any merit. As they see it, the universe has physical rules but no metaphysical or philosophical ones. Therefore, any meaning in life must come from within. Their headquarters is the insane asylum of Sigil. It's called the Gatehouse. They are derived from real-life existentialists and nihilists. The Doomguard, also known as the Sinkers, are those who believe in the sanctity and inevitability of entropy. They see the decay and destruction of the universe as necessary but once it is destroyed, all imperfections will be gone along with it, paving the way for a perfect new world. Their headquarters is in Sigil's armory, where they forge weapons as tools of destruction. The Dustmen, also known as the Dead or the Dusties, believe that both life and death are false states of existence, and that there is a true state of death, which can only be accomplished by denying one's emotions, physical wants and needs. This concept is similar to oblivion, but is also conceivably close to nirvana. Their headquarters is in the mortuary, where sigils dead are interred or cremated. Their philosophy is closely related to a cosmism, but with a more death-geared ideal. The faction shares similarities with Buddhism and with the Stoics as well. The Fated, also known as the Takers or the Heartless, believe that those with power and the ability to have the right to own what they control and to take what they can from those who are unable to keep it, and that it is their right to exploit any situation to their advantage, regardless of how it affects anyone else. Their headquarters is in the Hall of Records, where they serve as tax collectors of sigil. They are derived from real-life social Darwinists and the philosophies of Max Stirner. The Fraternity of Order, also known as the Governors, are those who believe that knowledge is power. They learn and exploit both natural laws of the universe and the laws of society. Their headquarters is in the city court, 
where they serve as judges and legal advocates. They recall the sophists of classical Athens. The Free League, also known as the Indeps, are those who reject the other factions and their bureaucratic, hierarchical dogmatism. In fact, they don't consider themselves a faction at all. For this reason, they don't have a factal or an official headquarters. Though Sigil's Great Bazaar serves as an unofficial one, they believe in individual freedom as the highest good and could be considered similar to libertarianism. The Harmonium, also known as the Hardheads. They are those who believe that peace and stability can only be established under one rule, theirs. The planar faction known as the Harmonium is actually just part of a much larger political entity which rules over the entire prime material world of Ortho. In Sigil, they serve as the city's police force, and in their headquarters is the city barracks. They are related to present-day authoritarianism, particularly religious evangelicals and their fundamentalism. It is strongly advised that visitors to Sigil never, under any circumstance, use the term hardheads in front of the Harmonium members. The Mercy Killers, also known as the Red Death, they are those who believe in justice and retribution at the expense of all else. Their name does not come from killing out of mercy, but rather killing mercy itself. Their credo is that mercy is for the weak, and the merciful should be punished. Appropriately, their headquarters is in Sigil's prison, where they carry out sentences of convicted criminals. The Revolutionary League, also known as Anarchists, they are those who believe that social order and that man-made laws are inherently corrupt and must be destroyed, though none of the members can agree on what, if anything, should replace them. Like the Indeps, they don't have a factal or headquarters, though they have many safe houses and secret meeting places. The Sign of One, also known as the Signers. They are those who believe that everyone is the centre of their own reality and that reality can be reshaped by the power of imagination. Their headquarters is in the Hall of Speakers, which houses Sigil's legislature. Some of them are solipsists, though most are not so extreme. The Society of Sensation, also known as the Sensates, they are those who believe that accumulating experiential knowledge through the senses is the only way to achieve enlightenment. Their headquarters is in the Civic Feast Hall, which features an endless series of entertainments and a library of magically stored experiences. They are reminiscent of both ancient and modern Epicureanism. The Transcendent Order, also known as the Ciphers, are those who believe that by tapping into the cadence of the planes and acting through pure instinct, they can achieve a higher state of being. Their headquarters is in the Great Gymnasium, where members can train to improve their bodies and their minds. Their philosophy could be considered similar to Taoism and its offshoots such as Zen Buddhism. The Chaos Itex, also known as the Chaosmen, are those who believe that only truth is revealed in chaos. The Chaos Itex have been quite accurately described as being totally off their rockers, every one of them. Their headquarters is in the Hive which is the most disorganized part of Sigil's ward of the same name. Some may consider their philosophy a slight twist on accidentalism, but it is far more similar to the Greek cynics of antiquity.